I am Victor Vargas. Welcome to this Daily Bark. And here we discuss ideas around composing art and life. <laughs> All right, Martin. Floor, the floor is yours. <laughs> All right. So this time I went back and, and something I wasn't considering when I did the first round on the last week's critique was the 80% curve and the I think it's 20% line. And I decided I need to put that in there because it makes sense. And I decided, well, let's go ahead and try it out. And I tried one that where the neck is kind of outwards and it didn't work. And then I tried the neck coming inwards and it felt, it felt like it was, it was kind of squeezing them up a little bit, kind of just pushing them more mm -hmm. up. And I started getting more of the, the air feeling, and I, I kind of really like this one because it's now it's, it feels like it's, it's actually uplifting. Like he's, you know, he's inspired. It's he's rising. Um, I did change a little bit. Try to add a little more line to the headphones. Try to not make them as dominant. Mm -hmm. Back back to his face, you know, the focus. Um. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Later, later on, when we take a look at uh, Don Rogers' work, um, he uses value really, really well. And he uses value in very prominent areas, but they're, the, the contrasts are very low. And yet, you get all the information you need. And I see that's what you're doing here. It's like you get all the information that you need for those headphones, and yet the contrast is very low. And so it's like they're there. You know that they're there, but they're not punching you in the face. Yeah. And, and therefore, you're able to use that thicker line for the side of the face, the eyes, the hair. That's pulling you out. Um, by lowering the contrast on those headphones, you're not – making it feel horizontal, um, like a horizontal thrust. You're not making that dominant. The vertical is still dominant. So I think that that works really, really well. I think the only thing I could probably do is bring in his, the tip of his nose looks like it's pushed back. Like that line that's coming across right there, now that I'm looking at it, I can probably yeah, just the nose, just so it looks like it's pushing a little forward, not on as far back. Cool. Yeah. Um, Martin, while uh, the other guys uh, share some thoughts on your piece, can you hit mute on your microphone? Yeah. All right. Bill, what are your thoughts? Uh, I like it. I'm just curious. It seems like this guy's a weightlifter or something. Because he's got a real big neck. Yeah, it, it changed it when I when I curved that line, but I, I felt like it, it it made it feel like he was, you know, pushing his his neck his face up a little, a little better than just a straight line. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, it looks like he's pretty thick. Like he's pretty. <laughs> 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 he's a linebacker. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he's from Oklahoma or someplace, Nebraska. You know, he he's 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 a corn fed boy, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was actually adjusting it in the grid just before I came on here and, and it was interesting just squeezing it together and pushing it out and just seeing how much it changed, but yeah, I like it. I like it. Brian, what are your thoughts? Um, I guess my mind, my mind keeps going to his uh, his temperament, or is like his. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to decipher what is his uh, emotional disposition, or his. Uh, is he happy? Is he sad? Is he content is he straining is you know i'm trying to which not that that matters because that's not a part of the actual 
competition. But uh, I do think it's uh, a lot more fluid than the last one. I can't remember exactly how the last one looked. But uh, I do feel like there's a lot more to the uh, – I feel the arabesque. Or I feel like just with the uh, – his chin. Mm-hmm. I like his chin. Or I like his, uh, his jaws, I mean. I like how that flows. Um, yeah, that's probably one of my favorite parts of this whole piece is, is his jawline. And yeah. then the goat, the goatee, not goatee, whatever that thing is called. The raccoon tail. The raccoon tail. <laughs> uh, I like how that all, I, I almost feel like it all converges together. I, I'm not really sure if it does, but um, I think you were very successful with your curves in this piece. I also like that his hair feels like it's on top of his head. Like it's kind of like on it and around it, you know, not just like painted on his scalp, you know, but it feels like it's like a a cat almost like. Like a helmet. (laughs) Kind of. Yeah. You know, there's weight to it, thickness and, and it's, it's outside of the skull. It's neat. This piece is ready to sell, Martin. Yeah. What's that? It's ready to sell. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go through the the values and. Yeah, but I think you, 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 the field that you have on here works really, really nice. Okay. Um, I think the spacing where your name is, uh, even though it still kind of looks like it's part of his T-shirt. <laughs> Yeah, I still have – where do you – I mean, where would you recommend putting it? I would recommend, one, coming up with a different signature. Uh, coming up maybe with um, an initial – I don't know, whatever. You know, play around with it. But um, uh, that's my that's my first reaction to it. Um, I do like the size. I'd probably go even about half that size. Um on this image, I think the placement is perfect. I don't think you would want to put it off to the side because it would throw the, the piece off balance. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking when I was putting it, trying to position. I'm like, if I put that to the side, it's going to just look off balance, you know? Like, <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. Now, you could, you could get away with it if you did the values just right, but there's no need for it. I think it, it works perfectly, though, you know, where, where it's at. Um, it could maybe be about two, about half, maybe uh, two thirds of, of its size. Um, again, if you look at the side of, let me, let me get this, uh, these little line tools here. If you look at this here, and this coming in here, maybe if it was like that big. I see. It kind of fit almost like a little tag, you know, a little dog tag or something. Okay. <clears throat> Not that big. Something like that. Yeah, so something like that. But um you can make that part of that letter come up, fall right in the top of that line, and then over through here, maybe the top of the end, this part of the end coming down through here or something like that. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, man. Thank you very much. That's nice. Anybody else have any other comments? Nope. Oh, call that one wrapped up. Huh?